Well, good evening everybody from Cozy Corner. Ah, coming to you from Jerusalem. I wanted to talk to you today about being a good and excellent steward of your heart, your one-of-a-kind heart. Life is tough. Being human can be painful as much as it can be joyful. But you know, we are called by God to be responsible stewards of these hearts, these one-of-a-kind hearts. I can't say it enough. And life is a learning curve, but I always say, but let's get on the curve. We're a work in progress. But every scenario that happens in our lives, God is wanting to grow us. And so different people, same type of scenario, will keep coming around a mountain. And God wants us to press through and get our breakthrough. Press through and get your breakthrough. I have something I want to share, and it's just so ironic. I was sharing something at my concert the other evening. I was sharing something vulnerable about, my, vulnerable about myself because I totally believe that that's how we inspire and encourage others is to be real and take the mask off. And um, I had an incident with someone later on in the evening. And it's just so ironic because that which I was talking about and that which was challenged, I'm actually where, where I was saying where I needed to grow. God is actually using that person to help me to be better at what I said I need to be better at with that person. Um... I don't know if I should use the word challenge me or whatever, but God has such a sense of humor. It's so interesting because anytime we experience a hardship, we, we need to encourage ourselves and remember that in God's economy, everything is redemptive. So in every pain, there's a blessing that we can find if we're looking for it. So tonight we came into Sukkot Shabbat. It's the end of Sukkot. Tomorrow evening closes the um, the final uh, Sukkot of this year. Then we go into Simchas Torah and Shemini Atzeret. And um, I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on the Lord. Because honestly, without the Lord, there's nothing going on. He's such a good, good father. And I am joyful. And you know, I feel like every time we share our testimony, we get a shift. You know, if you think about evangelists, every I mean, evangelists are sharing the gospel all the time. So it's like the experience is like being born again again because, you know, it's almost like when you say, I'm blessed. When you say, I'm blessed, it's like, wow. Wow, the reality. I'm blessed. It's like you, you're doubly blessed. When, you, when you're when you always sharing the good news, the joy is overflowing because the life of Yeshua is just leaking out of you, the joy of Yeshua. And yes, we also experience the sufferings of Yeshua. Absolutely. It's two sides of the same coin, so to speak. So I just want to encourage you. Growth is painful. Doing new things is painful. Um, when we stop letting people manipulate or control, coerce, influence, push, whatever word you want to use, and we have to stand up and say no. See, I'm a lover, not a fighter. But if you push me up against a wall, my survival mechanisms will kick in. But I... I'm a peacemaker, but at the same time, I'm called to be as bold as a lion. And I am a force to be reckoned with in Yeshua. Absolutely. Because the life of Yeshua lives and breathes and has his being within me. That's resurrection power, so look out. That's right. We need to know that we are empowered by God and we carry a mighty authority in his name, in Yeshua's mighty name. And there's nothing more powerful than the name of Yeshua and the blood of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Demons tremble. God is faithful. 
So when we choose to grow, it's painful. But what's the other option? I'm not going to stay where I am. It's God's will that we continually move forward in our lives, whatever that looks like. God is calling us to move forward. We are called to move forward. So, so many things, but I'm going to say good night and God bless you from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center Cozy Corner Series. Shalom.